Hi guys, I'm Yuxin Din. Uh, welcome to my ePortfolio. I come from Grad Communication Design and I am studying in IEP Level 7 course for this semester and also very honored to work with Professor Sarah Custom. So to look at my first project, uh, the first project of the semester is to write our own artist statements. And in this process, what I learned most important is to acquaint some professional words uh, to describe our art, to describe our design. And also I really enjoyed our experience to go to Photographiska to look at uh, David Lachampe's work and how does he describe his own work, which inspired me a lot. And we did a lot of exercises like vocab, reading, um, listening, and we wrote multiple drafts for our artist statement and a short version. Um, it's very unfortunate that my recorded presentation in class was accidentally deleted. So this is a re-recorded version of my video. And move on to the next project is our persuasive essay. I would say this is the most challenging um, project for this semester. Uh, so basically this project is about to write a persuasive essay and to learn some persuasion methods such as ethos, pathos, and logos, and also some rhetoric um, devices. So we have some reading exercises to read the most compelling, strong, um, persuasive speech I have a dream by Dr. Martin Luther King and also watched some uh, videos to teach us what is rhetoric devices and take some notes. Have our outlines and we have the most interesting listening exercise of this semester, which is to watch the movie The Farewell, written and directed by Lulu Wen and we took some notes and analyzed um, the persuasion method used in the movie. Uh, this movie is well produced that I really um, recommend. Uh, but also this experience taught me that um, persuasive method, method are frequently used in our daily life. It's not some sophisticated um, techniques that me as an ordinary people cannot handle. It's something that we all use in daily life. And this is the final draft of my presentation. Oh, this is the third draft and final draft in my presentation. And move on to the next project is the research project. So for this project, I would say the most important thing to learn is to arise the awareness of copyright, not to plagiarize. I was working on APA citation before, and in this project, I'm working with MLA citation, and I choose to continue studying my previous topic from the persuasive essay. And also it's very, um, important and useful that we learned how to evaluate the sources that we have to see whether they are strong enough to support our argument, whether they are appropriate to be in our essays. And also we wrote uh, reflective annotated bibliography, um, which definitely helped me to have a more um, effective uh, research process and sources collage and presentation videos here. And for my other supporting materials, at the very beginning of this semester, Sarah gave us this notebook. Uh, this is our vocab notebook. And um, I was studying to wrote some quick notes on the vocabulary that I learned each day. Basically, uh, I wrote down uh, such as uh, malleable, its adjective and its definition, 
uh, how to use it in a sentence, synonyms, antithesis, and something like that. Um, I didn't uh, continue work on this uh, after the middle of the semester because I'm so busy. But I do love this process and I'm going to keep on um, working like this. And yeah, that's all of my ePortfolio. Thank you for listening. Bye.